Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I literally have not filmed in weeks. I've been so busy and so unwell and oh, I just miss filming so much. I can't even explain. I'm still a little bit sick. My neck is killing me, but I did want to film and I had so many new products. So I was like, why don't I do a talk style video but using new products? So that's what I've done today. That's how I've achieved this face. So yeah, if you'd like to see how I achieve this face, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off by using my Indeed Laboratories Hydroluron Moisture Jelly. The packaging of this is really, really cool. You basically just press it and some product comes out. I don't know if you could see that, but there's now three little pellets of product, and that's enough to do your whole entire face. This stuff is so, so hydrating. I absolutely love it. I can't even describe to you guys how sore my neck is. Like I can't bend it this way hardly at all. So it's like kind of tilting this way because it's less sore. Oh my god, I can't even deal. It's so sore. I don't know why. Ow. So after I put on that moisture jelly, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Clarins Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch. Um, this is just a pore filling primer. It's a little bit pink toned, but when it goes onto your skin, it's like clear. Um, I've only used this once before, but so far I really, really do like it. And again, with any of these pore perfecting products, I like to push it into the skin instead of just rubbing it into the skin. And you don't need much of this at all. At least, I don't. I just put it in the central part and I just push up so it actually gets into the pores. I'm just going to dab a little bit actually for eyes as well. Why not? Smell lines. So I only put that along the center of my face because that's really only where I need this type of product. Everywhere else I can just use a normal primer. I don't really feel like using a primer over the rest of my face so I'm going to go straight into foundation. Um, I'm going to use a BB cream today. This one's new to me. This one's by Estee Lauder and it's called their Double Wear All Day Glow BB Cream. This apparently has SPF 30 in it so that's what intrigued me. Um, I haven't used it before. I got matched to the shade Intensity 3.0 and this is what the packaging looks like. So I'm just going to apply it to my face and hope for the best. I'm normally not the biggest fan of the BB CC trend, but this lady just said it's basically like a tinted moisturizer. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll give it a go because I really like the Estee Lauder Double Wear just stand foundation. So I thought I'd give this a try. Um, hopefully I like it though because this was expensive. Like it was the same price as the double wear. My face looks so funny. <laughs> so I'm just going to be using the Real Techniques cheek brush to kind of just pat it and blend it into my skin. Um, I really really like this brush for my foundation even though it's a cheek brush. Um, just because I feel like I can use it as a paddle brush but it also blends in as well. So that's really nice. Hopefully I like this though, because I thought that this would be amazing for the winter time because apparently it has a lot of moisture in it. Ow. I'm not too sure if I like that colour match or not, but I do need to apply a bit more to my face. I feel like this would blend in a lot easier with a flat top brush, opposed to this kind of paddle buffing brush style thing that I've been really enjoying. Because um, I do find that it is, I think it dries really fast in certain spots, like where you put it on your face, so you really need to work fast with it. So I think the next time I use it, I won't just dot it all over my face, I'll just put it where I need it first. I actually really, really like how that turned out. Really nice. Like, it obviously looks like you're wearing foundation or like BB cream, BB cream. Um, but I really like how it looks. I'll definitely keep using that. It's just a bummer that they don't have a lighter shade that matches my like my undertones. Oh well, what can you do? Alright, so let's move on. I'm going to use a concealer corrector. I recently picked up the Bobbi Brown corrector in the shade Peach. Um, hopefully this works for me. I've used it once before, but it wasn't really properly. I just kind of like played around with it. So I'm going to grab a little bit on my ring finger. And I'm just going to put it where my dark circles are. I have hereditary dark circles, as you can see. They're really, really bad. So I haven't really ever found anything to cover them up. So hopefully the Bobbi Brown corrector will work. 
Make sure you definitely get the outer corner and also the inner corner because that's where you do get a lot of darkness. And then of course do the other eye. Wow, that's such a difference. Can you guys see? Like I've still got a little bit of shadow but that's because it's sunken in. But looking in straight forward, it's definitely made a lot of a difference. So far I really like that, so let's hope it works. Because if not, I'll be so sad. I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. I'm going to first use the L'Oreal... <laughs> The L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in the darker shade, which is medium slash dark. I love this so much. I only recently bought a backup of this because I love it so much. And I'm just going to brush this through my eyebrows just to kind of give them a bit of shape for when I fill them in. This is slightly tinted, so we'll do a little bit of the filling in for you. But because I do have quite sparse eyebrows, I do find that I still need to fill them in so they do look visible. I'm going to use the Anastasia Dip Barrel Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. I'll continue on with the eyebrows later. I feel like it's getting very dark. So I'm going to apply a tiny bit of NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. So I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. I don't want a super intense highlight today so that's why I'm going with this colour. Otherwise, I'll use Vanilla or Chantilly. This colour still brightens, it's just not as intense. Actually, I lie, I'm going to use a little bit of Vanilla just to lighten it just a little bit. I'm just going to be doing a little bit of highlighting for the fact that um, the foundation just seems to be a little bit too dark. Like, it looks okay in the viewfinder, but in real life, it's just a tiny bit too dark. Okay, probably the most exciting thing that I've recently bought is the Too Faced Cocoa, Coco Contour Palette. Um, it basically comes with four shades to highlight and contour. So I haven't used it before, but I'm going to today. I'm so excited. So to set my under eye concealer, I'm just going to be using the shade, oh, you can see everything. I'm going to be using the shade Light Cocoa, which is this one right here. I'm just going to use the brush that comes with it. Okay, so now going on to contouring, because I think contouring is one of my most favourite things to do. I'm going to be using this shade just to contour, and we'll see how it goes. And I'm going to be using the NARS ITA brush. I promise you, it's not that intense. This looks really, really intense on camera and it's not even that intense in real life. What the hell? Like, I was doing it in my mirror and I was like, oh yeah, this looks fine. And then I look on the viewfinder and it's like, oh my god, like orange splashes all over my face. I'm going to grab a tiny little bit of this darker colour shade. It's kind of more the bronzy colour in the palette. I'm literally just going to dab my brush into it once and I'm going to try and bronze up my face just a little bit. Oh dear god, I still pigmented. Ooh. Uh. I literally just touched my brush into that once. And look how my face turned out. Oh my god. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know how much I like this palette. Like, to be 100% serious, I don't know how much I like it. I'll definitely have to update you guys on it. I thought it was going to be one of those palettes that I fell in love with straight away, but I actually have no idea how I feel about it right now. I am going to use the highlight in the palette. It's called Pop of Light. It's this one here. And I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones a little bit. See how it goes. Oh wow, that's chunky. Oh god. It's a pretty colour, just the sparkles in it are very big. Like it's not a sheen or anything like that. Like it's just very, very thick. Like, you can't see unless you're up close. I think it would be a nicer highlight for the nighttime than the daytime. But the colour of it's really, really pretty. It's very, very similar to NARS Albatross in colour. Okay, I'm sorry about the lighting change. I just, just turned on my studio lights because it was just getting the tiniest bit too dark and too blue toned. So, sorry about that. Hopefully you can see everything a little bit better now. And my highlight is so intense. 
I don't know if you guys ever have this, but when you try new products and they just don't turn out very well, that's how I feel about that contour palette. I'm not digging it at all. At all. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to move on to the Morphe palette by Jaclyn Hill, or the one that she created. You all know the one. It looks like this. And yeah, I've literally used two shades in this palette twice. So yeah, I'm going to branch out from those two shades. The two shades that I've used are this one here. And where is it? This one here. If you can see how I've like scratched it a little bit with my brush. So I'm going to try and avoid those two colors just so I can try and do something new. I don't really want to do anything too intense, but we'll just see how we go. So I'm going to start off by using this shade here, just a little bit on my brush, and I'm going to use that as my transition shade, hopefully. Okay, so using this shade here and a synthetic concealer brush, I'm just going to use a little bit of this, really pigmented. Make sure you tap off any excess because you don't want any fallout. And then I'm just going to pack that onto the lid. Wow, that's a lot darker than what I expected it to be. Great. So I'm just going to put it on, say, two thirds of the lid and leave the inner third blank so I can put another color there. Now I'm just going to take that same color again and I'm actually going to wet it this time. So I'm just going to load up my brush with product. And then I'm just going to use some Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. This stuff is so affordable. And I'm just going to spray my brush with it. And then I'm just going to put that on my eye. I'm not going too high. I'm just going to where my fold is. So it's only a little bit of space because I only have tiny eyelids. Um, but yeah, this color is actually really, really pretty. Now I'm just going to grab a small smudgy brush and I'm going to go in with this shade here and I'm just going to put that on the inner corner. Okay, that shade was not as pigmented as what I thought it would be. Um, I'm going to go into this shade instead. And I'm just going to drag it into the inner tear duct as well. I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit of this shade mix with a little bit of this shade just to use a little bit of a darker transition color. Okay, lower lashes. It's like my favorite thing to do. Um, I'm going to grab a little bit of... I'm just going to grab that same color, this one here, that I put all over the eyelid and I'm going to run that along the lower lash line just with a small little brush. I'm pretty happy with how that looks, but I'm going to darken up just a tiny bit more with this burgundy cranberry color, if that's even how you would say it at all. I don't know if you guys can actually see how glittery, glittery, <laughs> glittery that Too Faced highlighter is, like how chunky it is. Like, can you see that? It's like so chunky. I really don't like that at all. That's not cute to me. I don't like it. Ugh, I don't know what to do about it though. I'm quite happy with the eyes. It's just a really, really simple style of how I really like to do my eyeshadow if I put on eyeshadow at all. Um, so I'm just going to quickly curl my eyelashes once again. So I'm just going to use a little bit of my Rimmel Exaggerate Full Lip Liner in the shade Addicted. Addiction, sorry, addiction. And I like these because they're slanted and they're also a little bit wider than normal lip liners. So I find they're really, really nice to use. Now I'm going to use a tiny bit of MAC Brun eyeshadow. It just matches my eyebrows really, really well. And I'm just going to put that through with an angled eyeliner brush. I feel like sometimes if you just fill in your eyebrows with pomade, it can look very, very fake, very, very fast, um, especially if it's like daytime or whatever. So I do like to use a little bit of pomade just to get my eyebrow structure in place. So even if the powder does fade, the pomade's still there and I still look like I have eyebrows. But I do like to go in with a brow powder or an eyeshadow just to kind of make it look a bit more natural. So I took my hair down. I actually kind of liked it better when it was up. Ooh, I'll fix it after. Um, I'm going to be using, not this one, oh god. 
I'm going to be using a little bit of MAC Honey Love lipstick just over that lip liner. So the star of the look, I would definitely say, is the base products. Those are probably my two favorite finds. I love my base products and I'm so happy that I found two products that I absolutely love. Um, the biggest fail of it was probably the Too Faced Contour Palette. I really do like Too Faced. It's probably one of my favorite brands and I'm so sad to say that it isn't even the whole palette. It's just the highlight. Who wants chunky highlight on their face? Not me. I'll give you guys a quick close up of the eyes. So this is how the eyes turned out. Um, I haven't done an eye look like this in a very, very long time, but it just reminds me of how much I really, really do love these purpley ready tones. So I'll definitely be using that product more in the future. Um, yeah, I'm super, super happy with how the eyes turned out. I love how the skin turned out. I even really like the bronzer. I just hated the highlight. If it wasn't the highlight, I would have loved this look. Um, so yeah, I hope you like these like playing around with new product videos and yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below some products that you would like to see me try out in future videos and yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye!